Paxton fearing confusion and uncertainty continue to linger in the minds of parents and those students at Lafayette High School. This after a gun was allegedly brought into the high school last Tuesday, but the school did not find out until a picture started going around on social media. Now one Lafayette former high school student says it was only a matter of time because of the alleged safety measures. The school district has since responded to the claim. They never really checked the bags properly. Vody Kelly, a recent graduate of Lafayette High School, says the latest incident of a student bringing a gun to school made him reflect on his time at school and their safety measures. And they don't put the bags through the metal detectors. It's just you and then someone looks in your bag real quick. And um, it's just, uh, it, re it re was really never, never about security, more just about making people think that it's uh, secure. Kelly says it was an unfortunate joke among friends, how it's so easy to bring a gun into school and how students can sneak in all sorts of things. We just see more and more of these problems happening, more and more people bringing these things into schools. And um, it's just, it's, you know, ridiculous to think that, you know, uh, the schools aren't able to do anything about it. They're not able to. Uh, keep the kids in line, keep them from doing the sort of things, and even the things they do are really obviously aren't very effective. The school superintendent, Demetrius Liggins, responding in an email Saturday, saying a student went through a metal detector Tuesday morning, but his backpack was not adequately checked by security. After getting through security, that student took a picture of himself holding a gun in what appeared to be a classroom. Liggins says the student has been charged with unlawful possession of a weapon on school property. Kelly, that former student, reacting to the letter. This is, it's, it's word jumble. A huge problem is, is that students really aren't being heard. The superintendent adding they were alerted two days after the incident and that the security worker is no longer working for the schools. Parents now questioning why it took the school till Saturday to let them know. The school district issuing this statement in part, quote, the safety of students, faculty, and staff is a priority, and all measures to ensure that are taken into account daily. We are fully reviewing this incident and do not comment on any ongoing investigations, end quote. Meantime, Kelly says there needs to be more awareness from everyone. Pay attention to your kids. Uh, I think there's a big problem with people sort of disconnecting from family, disconnecting from each other, and it causes a lot of these sort of uh, attention-seeking things like bringing a gun to school. Clearly, I don't think this person was there to harm anybody. Now, the next school board meeting was scheduled for earlier tonight, but it got rescheduled to this Thursday at 5.30, and ABC 36 crew will be in attendance. For now in studio, Anna Medina, ABC 36 News.